Hey, hey, welcome back to the Diecast Museum. Today I've got a weekly haul video for you. This is everything that I've bought in the last week, which in this case is a whole bunch of junk diecast. This is mostly majorette, very vintage stuff perhaps, matchbox and other goodies as well. I got a huge box of the latest Hot Wheels mainlines you're gonna find on your shelves in the store. This is all of the most desirable cars, mostly the non-futuristic casting, such as that Honda Civic Type R and the Nissan Silvia, but really about half a box. So that's about 30 to 40 brand new Hot Wheels in there from the most recent two last cases at the time of filming, which is August, 2021. And I've also got this strange Hot Wheels car I found at the local diecast store. It's a, called a Maybach, and it's got an extremely detailed interior, four opening doors. Thought it'd be kind of cool to look at just because it's a Hot Wheel, and they are kind of hard to find from what I found looking on secondary market. But first and foremost, let's get into this big bag of junk, because that's always the most fun. More junk cars? Do we really need more junk cars? Looks like we've already got plenty in the background in all these totes. And that's where most of my junkers end up. A lot of people think they go to the diorama, which would make sense, and in the past they have, but the diorama is reserved now for the far more detailed auto world and green light castings, a few Hot Wheels, but really most of the junk cars just go into the junk pile for my nostalgia. And here we go. A big thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. Thanks for making this channel possible. And now to share with you the goodies that I found at the local diecast store. These were in the $1 junk bin pile, and uh, right off the bat, if we could focus the camera here, here we have the old Safari truck, and you can see someone has lovingly painted over it with black by the looks of it. Uh, however, there are some decals still apparent on it, including Kenya and uh, some other things on it. Raid 86, I'm not really sure. Looks like the continent of Africa kind of outlined on the roof. So I don't really know what happened with this old Toyota. Made in France. Quite a cool piece. Uh, what do we got here? A little Mazda RX-7. Majorette 158 scale. These ones have the opening doors and the mobile one. Graphics. What an old junker. These are all sandbox condition vehicles for the most part. There might be a few goodies in here. Uh, here we have a Majorette dump truck. The big old Caterpillar dump trucks, I think. And these are, I believe, 187th or 1 100th scale. But either way, pretty common stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, some Matchbox in here as well. Got this old van. The ice cream van. 100 amazing flavors, it says. So cool. Hot Wheels tractor. That's pretty neat. We've obviously looked at those before in my videos of the year-by-year -year videos. And you can probably find that in the early to late 1990s. What else? We've got a pair of ambulance from Majorette that have seen better days, to be sure. Um, also pretty common vehicles, plastic bases. Sometimes equipped as these sonic flashers, ones that had actual strobing lights and siren effects. And here we've got another, I believe it's a Land Rover. Yes, it is a Land Rover, 160th scale. Missing the opening door on the back. And it's bright orange. You can also find it here with this uh, Nassau Space livery on the sides. And there's the door with the uh, spare tire integrated into it. And that just opens up like so. So pretty cool. The old Majorette trucks always had lots of suspension. And uh, quite a unique design of die-cast vehicles compared to many other countries and companies. Here we've got an old Corgi. I think this is a Buick Riviera, Buick Regal, something like that. Heavily painted over. Uh, yes, I did pay $1 for this car. Why? I don't really know. Uh, Buick Regal, Corgi Juniors. I do have an affection for these old Corgi cars, and that one uh, presents a challenge perhaps in the future to either be uh, restored or maybe, maybe uh, just put into the junkyard. Here we have what looks to be a really old Majorette truck or at least well played with. Missing a portion of its bumper. And uh, one 100th scale. Matchbox ambulance, missing a tire it looks like. Now these are the rubber tires on it, Real Rider tires, so I just figured that would be good for the junkyard. Again, these are not worth a dollar, guys, but hey, I was having fun and I bought like all these other new uh, Hot Wheels from the owners of the shop as well. 
they gave me a pretty good deal on those as well since I bought so many. And so, you know, this was kind of just awesome to get these as well. Icing on the cake. Old Majorette here, 180th scale. What kind of truck is this? If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Very cool. Looks very old. And then from the uh, FDNY, Fire Department of New York, number 55, this giant, what is this, an international? I don't know. Does it say on it? Does not say on it, but uh, very cool truck. Recognizable from the Majorette tractor trailer lines. Oh, look at this one. Here we have a very old Lesney Superfast. And uh, this is the field car, made in England, number 18. Wow, rolls straight and true, just like the day it was new. Also, uh, Majorette, one of my favorite castings, actually, especially from my youth. I have a lot of these. Opening door, Caprice Classic. It's a Chevy Caprice, or Impala. Basically the same thing, 159th scale. This one's got some nice patina on it, wouldn't you say? Rusty wheels, lots of chips. Those big squeaky suspensions. Oh, yeah. And then when you drop them, they all bounce around. So cool. Here we've got an old Majorette Mustang. I do have a couple of these. Uh, this one is obviously meant for my junkyard, as you can see. Opening hood on the official pace car Mustang convertible, 159th scale. And then here it is in a very kind of strange purple with 90s uh, esque designs on it turbo and all sorts of interesting graphics just stack those up get ready for the junkyard a few off-brand cars in here as well what have we got here looks a little bit like a smoky and the bandit car it does have opening doors just says uh firebird made in hong kong some suspension but really quite a low quality car just more of something something of interest you know you can look at that uh, another really beat up Majorette truck. This is a pretty common one. I, I do believe I have quite a few of these. And uh, what do they call this one? The Range Rover. So it's a fire truck Range Rover. Wow, this Yatming car has seen better days. Oh my. I think this is the Audi Quattro. And uh, all it says is made in Hong Kong. This is not the Yatming branded car. However, I do have this in Yatming. Uh, with a metal chassis in my collection already. Probably in substantially better condition, but this is just kind of one of those awesome little junkyard cars. How did it survive this long? Probably in deep storage. Uh, another interesting car, I think I have somewhere in my collection already, the Mega Blasters uh, cap cars. So these were uh, basically explosive-powered matchbox cars, 156 scale. You open the... Uh, Open the door here, I think, and you put your, your ammunition in it. I'm not really sure exactly how it works. But pretty cool piece, pretty iconic. You're not going to find stuff like that for sale anymore on the shelves. And then we got a nice little Majorette uh, dump truck. This isn't terribly old, but in good shape. And mostly metal. 1100 scale plastic chassis. Does it roll? Doesn't look like it's really rolling all that well. Okay, it rolls. Uh, oh, wow, these are pretty pretty memorable cars. I remember these Pontiac Firebirds from Majorette. The yellow tinted windows. And uh, just named Pontiac. This one actually is missing a wheel. They've got these huge motors, which make absolutely no sense. I don't even think you could see around them. But just, again, more nostalgia for my Majorette junk collection of vehicles. Uh, I hope I didn't pay for this. But anyways, here's the cab of a truck. I figured I could uh, maybe try to make that look like something that would belong in a junkyard. Unfortunately, I didn't see the chassis in the big tub that housed all this junk here. So I wasn't able to pick that up. But we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what we can do with it. Something interesting. Uh, it looks like another one of those Range Rovers. Got two of these old Range Rovers. Pretty common. Both just in terrible condition this is probably one of the coolest vehicles in the lot and it is the uh jeep cherokee with the indian livery on it i've got the tomahawk and the headdress uh, the old wise man there and some cacti looks like some arizona rock features the drop tailgate 
seems to be kind of stuck. Yeah, it's a little stuck. Uh, some suspension, but really quite quite a cool old majorette truck. Still rolls incredibly well. And we've got a Jeep Cherokee. This one's a little newer. So we got this, did I say Cherokee? Jeep Cherokee or Wagoneer, one or the other. But this one's definitely a Jeep Grand Cherokee with the sheriff livery on it, opening tailgate. Again, just roasted as far as a die cast collectible goes, but so neat to see them. Uh, here we have another Corgi. So this is going to be a Whiz Wheels Corgi and uh, another Land Rover. So somebody obviously had a little bit of a Land Rover collection uh, made in Great Britain. And they dumped them all into this bin. Uh, one of the fewer majorettes in the bunch that actually still looks good. Uh, these were sold for a long period of time. These kind of generic majorette tractor is all it's known as. Um, 187th scale. Fairly simplistic, but still an awesome toy. Definitely a lot of fun. For the kids in the sandbox, no doubt. Uh, here's a nicer matchbox, actually, that was in that lot in pretty good shape of the Chevy Corvette so I would say that is basically a barn fine rescue whatever you want a few little nicks from kind of rattling around probably with all these other junk cars but overall pretty nice shape I don't know about that Pepsi sticker if that's original but it seems to be about the right scale and the right size for the car so I'm just going to leave that there if you guys know anything about that you matchbox collectors uh, let me know however I will be getting into my matchbox catalog soon you may remember from uh, a couple months back, I picked up a whole bunch of vintage Matchbox catalogs uh, with uh, with plans of doing the year-by-year -year videos for Matchbox as well as Hot Wheels, as you've seen on this channel. And what have we got here? Another kind of Smoking the Bandit car. Firebird Trans Am made in Hong Kong. So again, opening doors on these kind of generic, poorly rendered models. But I, I just picked them up when I find them every once in a while because they are kind of cool and they do tell a, a history of die cast in a way. So those may well be from the same manufacturer actually since they have the same wheels. One has a sticker that's all faded out. The other one has graphics or a tampo. And here again, made in Hong Kong. So another looks to be a Yatming kind of molding die cast. And uh, we've got that uh, early... 80s Camaro here, car that was represented quite often in the Yatming series. And finally, one more matchbox, that is the Pontiac Firebird. So a whole bunch of Firebirds and a whole bunch of Land Rovers in this collection. Uh, clearly this car has done some, some time on its lid across the asphalt as it's quite scratched up. But hey, this was a cool little junk lot and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all those. Speaking of junk, we've got this big Maybach. Now, it looks pretty good. It's a pretty handsome car, but uh, it's not in perfect condition. And I knew that going into it. I did buy it loose off the shelf just because it was a Hot Wheel and it was kind of interesting. So we've got this big trunk. You can just open that up. And you've got some massive speakers in the Maybach. Subwoofers and quite nicely detailed, as you can see. Would have had a really nice paint job on it, too, before it got kind of scuffed up. Uh, missing the driver's mirror and on this car's a left hand drive quite detailed as you can see i mean there's actually mirrors in the sun visors rear view mirror and just tremendous amounts of detail so i really don't know what these are worth new or where one would even acquire such a model from hot wheels check out the back seats though i mean if this was a real car I mean, it is a real car, but if this was a real custom car with this much audio in it, you'd probably be deaf in it, I would think. Deafened by the music. And on the bottom, you can see it says Made in China at the top. Hot Wheels logo and the Maybach. The Maybach is a very expensive performance car in real life. And uh, this is, actually does a great job of, like a great rendition of it. I don't know that the hood opens. In fact, I don't think it does. Don't see any seams there. But uh, yeah, the old Maybach. Thought I'd share that with you guys. I've been meaning to share that for a little while, actually. That was found uh, found a little while back. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, let's look at some new Hot Wheels in the box. And uh, we've got absolute ton of them. So let's make some room for those.
Looks like right next to the Matchbox is my Majorette collection. So just kind of put all those cars in there. Okay, let's take a look at the newer Hot Wheels I purchased today. And one of those being, I pretty much only got one of each. You might see duplicates of some of my absolute favorites in here. Uh, the Honda Civic Type R. This is apparently a big seller right now and hard to find in your local stores. So keep an eye out for that. Pretty cool. Love that they just kept that car a simple white. And we've also got the 98 Subaru Impreza. 22B STI version. So also quite cool. This is the uh, Hot Wheel J Imports. That's the series name. Looks like these are both from the J Imports. Uh, Japanese Imports is what that would stand for. Another Japanese import is the Nissan Silvia S13. Pretty cool. Wish they had put some graphics on for the front headlights, but looks like the window doors are closed on this particular model, or maybe uh, it doesn't have window doors. I'm not really sure, actually. I don't think so. Hmm. Just would have been nice to have a few graphics on the front since they did such a nice job on the back. But hey, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. Uh, 17 Ford F-150 Raptor. That's worthy of the collection, no doubt. And that is part of the Hot Wheel Torque series. Again, these are all 2021 models. I don't have the exact case code, but these are from two very recent case codes. Uh, as of the filming, August 21st, 2021. Geoterra. I just kind of like the look of this thing. It's a fic fictitious uh, fantasy vehicle, but it's kind of neat. The 68 Mercury Cougar, the green metallic paint and bright neon flames. It looks pretty cool. That's the Hot Wheel Flame series. And from the Muscle Mania AMC Rebel Machine with the Goodyear livery on the sides. Those big red chrome five spoke wheels, the SP5. So that's a pretty cool car. And I really do like this new wheel that uh, Hot Wheels has for 2021. On the 67 Chevy C10, we see the five spoke with the chrome rim. And that just kind of makes it look nice and classy, but still five spokes and black walls to me are among the some of the best looking Hot Wheels for, you know, just about all Hot Wheels. Generic type wheel that works on a lot of cars. Uh, recolor for the 21 Ford Bronco in the bright orange. We saw this before in baby blue. And, of course, up there, new for 2021. That's part of the Then and Now series. Interested to see what the uh, Bronco choice is, hopefully, for the Then version. And another uh, cool car. This one from Hot Wheel Speed Graphics Series, the 85 Honda CRX. This one has the turbo graphics on it. And a blue plastic base. Very cool. As you can see, we've still got about half a case of cars in here. I do believe there's about 40 in total. So we'll try and go through these as quick as quickly as we can. Uh, recolor for the Nissan R390 GTI. Previously seen in a dark metallic blue. Very nice uh, decorations for the livery on this. Factory Fresh series. Probably one of my favorite series of the cars uh, released year to year, it seems. Always got good ones in there. And the 67 Ford GT40 MK4. Very cool looking car. Uh, I imagine that thing will be terrific on any sort of orange Hot Wheel race tracks. I'd love to try that out. The 67 Oldsmobile 442 with the Golf livery. That's probably going to be a hot seller as well. Uh, Nissan Leaf. Nismo RC02. Now there are tons of these cars being released in both cases that were opened up at the uh, diecast store and they seem to be quite common but a pretty cool car i don't think you're going to find too much trouble getting this car uh if you're looking for it and we've got some old ones mixed in here too there's old cars on the tables as well as new cars at the local diecast store so we found this street beast series car i think it's from 1996 or maybe 95 1996 is the copyright and there's pretty cool old graphics on there. So this is by, by no means new. We've got one car in here that's 25 years old. So we'll put that one aside. Just love picking up those all metal. You know, these Hot Wheels used to be all metal most of the time. So you got this all metal on metal. IROC Camaro. 
and uh, prehistoric road ripper it's called kind of kind of cool okay back to new cars we've got from then and now the 2017 camaro zl1 that racing blue and very interesting white lined wheels and this is kind of a neat little thing i want to see how that works the experimotos or experimotors semi rolling it's like a six-sided wheel with dice prints on it that are visible through the roof and I guess as you roll it, it spins around. So I'm curious to see how that works out. Might be kind of fun to incorporate that into a video game or a board game, I mean. Uh, the 2020 Jeep Gladiator, obviously going to be one that is going to be a must have on many collectors lists. This is from the Hot Wheel Getaways series. Features two dirt bikes in the back. And uh, oh, here's one from yesteryear, Ford Mustang Fastback. This is from 2010. That's when it was released. The Faster Than Ever series wheels. Those kind of uh, copper looking five spokes. So I just wasn't sure if I had the Faster Than Ever car. I probably do. But uh, for some reason that one just made me kind of scratch my head and go, better pick it up just in case I don't. And another old one. So <laughs> I paid $2 for this car roughly. Last time it was priced $1.50. There's inflation for you. But this is kind of a neat piece. The collector number 230. It's pretty banged up. Uh, kind of just want to get that one out. And probably even if I do have it on the wall, I just feel like that packaging is roasted. So get that Oldsmobile Aurora out of the packaging. China base. Copyright 93 on it. Nice rolling car. Very, very good rolling car. So fun to get a few of them opened up as we go when we can. Uh, another new model for 2021. The 49 Ford F1 Hot Wheels Hot Trucks. And they've got this white line five spoke white wall wheel on here. Looks really cool. Very cool looking. Uh, this one's going to be hard to get, I would think. The Toyota Land Cruiser, maybe not. Looks really cool. The wheels are a bit too big for it, but nice job on the paint. And nice job on the artwork as well for this particular model. And oh, we're zoomed all the way in here. Next up is another new model, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. I believe the last time this car would have been seen was as an RLC car. Uh, here it features a plastic base. Forget what those wheels are called, but they're pretty cool. And this is part of the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. A lot of these showing up in the cases as well, so it should be pretty easy to find like the Nissan Leaf. And a recolor for the 82 Dodge Rampage. Love this casting. Once again, so nice to see it. Uh, before we saw it red with kind of an orange tampo. Now black with an orangey red tampo. Looks very sharp. And uh, gray plastic base. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, I was looking for it. And I've got two of them. I have two of them. Really want to check out the Tesla Cybertruck. So I did get that one in this case. It's hard to come by. Uh, a lot of people after this version of the Tesla Cybertruck likely to change for actual production, but Hot Wheels has done a great job on this uh, as advertised Tesla. And uh, having two of them, I really wanted to get one of these opened up. So I think we're going to do that right now. Get one of these Tesla trucks out of the package. See what it's all about. This is as close as I'm going to get to one, probably. So here we are. Zamac finish on the Tesla. Careful not to put too many thumbprints on it. But uh, it's got a nice weight to it. Looks pretty good. A uh, bunch of information on the base. And uh, there you have it. Can we get some jumps? Anyone ever played jumps before when they were a kid? You, you try to send the Hot Wheels up the jumps well the tesla cyber truck does well on the jumps yes it does okay so there you have it that's the tesla cyber truck pretty much going to be one of the best finds i think for most collectors right now however this lb works lamborghini huracan coupe also very desirable car i would think amongst the hot wheel collectors and just lamborghini collectors in general check out the wrap maybe on this car graphics anyways hot wheel speed graphics i really say that has probably never looked better i really do like it and 
quite a bit of effort put into that paint job from Mattel. And the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Also another beautiful model. This is from the Hot Wheel Green Speed Series. And as you can see, just great details on these $1 cars these days. I, when I say $1, I'm talking like, you know, big box store pricing. But still, to pay uh, an extra dollar to really have a pick of the, the best cars from your local diecast store, it's worth it. Uh, an extra dollar or two or three or four. Depends how many you buy. I buy a lot of cars, so the more you buy, generally the cheaper they are. 67 Camaro. And this is from the Worldwide Series Hot Wheel Dream Garage. Kind of cool. Uh, 87 Buick Regal GNX. That's going to be one that you're probably going to want to get in your collection. Now, they haven't done the most Tampa work with the headlights and taillights on this model. But it still looks really nice in that gloss red. And uh, the imagination is easy to fill in the blanks for the paint job on that one. Several cars left here. 2019 Audi R8 Spider. I'm pretty sure I've uh, already bought this one and maybe even shown you guys before. But it's a nice model. Uh, GT Scorcher. This is a fantasy car. It's kind of like a race car style. Circle racer car. Just thought it was kind of cool. So I picked that up from the Hot Wheel Race Team series. And the 15 Dodge Charger SRT. Hot Wheel Rescue. Not a huge fan of the red interior windows and siren, but... Yellow paint job looks pretty good. And so I wanted to add that to the collection. Another Nissan Silvia. Sweet. And the Indy 500 Oval. Had to get one of those. Not very often you see an Indy car in the collection. Uh, apparently, this is the treasure hunt. Uh, yes, it is. There's the treasure hunt on the rear fin, uh, rear fender, and with the Goodyear livery. Beautiful machine. Metallic green. There's a super, of course, as well, but this is the regular treasure hunt. Um, so nice to have that in the collection as well. Usually I don't find the treasure hunts. Mad Mango, Hot Wheel Art Cars. These are really cool. Love the graphics on them. Very wild and bright. And uh, just a lot to look at. Those pink wheels, very strange. Not something normally I would buy, and neither is this... Uh, Ragin' Express, is that what it's called? The Ragin'? It's like a uh, truck you might see in another part of the world, all decorated up to the extreme, however. You certainly don't see trucks like this here in Canada, but uh, perhaps somewhere else in the world. And then with just a few other fillers, I think, in here. Well, we've got a few more from the main, Mainline series from 2021. We'll look at those. Uh, i got myself, of course, another Type R here. This one's got the headlights are up a bit high on it, which is unfortunate. So, um, uh, I kind of want to look at it, but uh, we'll leave it in the package for now. Subaru WRX STI in yellow. It's a recolor, previously released, I think, in white. Or maybe I got that backwards. And then the Space Jam 70s van. Hot Wheels Space Jam Tune Squad. Plastic body, so I'm not a big fan of that, but it does have that nice... Oh no, metal metal body, plastic base. Sorry, I almost thought that was the other way around. And then three out of five cars from this older release, which I think back in the day I only bought maybe the Camaro from. Uh, missing the Fairlady Z and the Volkswagen Golf MK7. I did get the Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. The police livery on it. And the uh, 2016 BMW, what is that, M2? An M2W? Hmm, interesting. And the 85 Chevy Camaro with plastic base. But just wanted to kind of get those, reasonable price, so why not? That is what I picked up this week so far. Oh, well, no, there's a bonus material. Bonus footage here. What have I got in here? This was from antique market that i went to about a week ago and uh well there's another old car bmw 850i you released about 1995 yes there it is so that's uh that's obviously coming out of the package uh, i already have a ton of these cars in my collection but i think i only paid two bucks for it so brand new condition uh 26 years in the packaging now it's out. Now it's out and about. 
and also other things that came from that vintage antique store. This uh, interesting little DeLorean. I believe this is a... Oh, what is this? A Zymac or... No, not Zymac. What am I talking about? Oh, I can't remember the name. Hmm. Oh, well. It's a DeLorean. It's all metal. It's kind of neat. Got some suspension. And then some Transformer vehicles. It's got this Transformer Chevy Blazer. And these are uh, made by Bandai. Copyright 1984. Paid about 20 bucks each for these. But uh, I'm going to demonstrate those in a future video as they're kind of cool. So consider this a sneak peek on the Bandai Transformer cars. You can see there's the legs and the heads and the whole thing comes all apart. All metal. Uh, i got to find some tires for this little four-wheel drive. Looks like a Toyota pickup truck. And uh, it's also made by Bandai. So I picked up those three. May have paid a little too much for them, but they were just so nostalgic. I had to get them. I knew I could restore this one, and I will. So there you have it. That's the haul this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, happy hunting. Happy hunting.